I'd like to spend just a few minutes of how impactful the e tree really is. What this speaks to is this is talking about people that have already made it to a certain level of senior leadership in their organization. So they have to have had something to get them there, whether it was experience or technical knowledge, etc. 90% of the difference between star performers and average performers that have already made it to senior leadership directly correlates with their EQ. The best definition that we have found for EQ, emotional intelligence or emotional quotient is the ability to sense, understand, and effectively apply the power and acumen of emotions to facilitate high levels of collaboration and productivity. Someone with a high level of emotional intelligence understands what's going on around them. They read the cultural current. They don't react, but they respond appropriately. EQ is really the basis for superior performance in decision making. So without a strong EQ, it's very difficult to make good decisions consistently. So we're talking about consistent superior performance. How EQ works. Two uh, profiles, standard brain function under low emotion. We get input, sensory input up our brain stem. We process it in our higher cortex and we, we can make a sound decision. It's pretty simple. There's a term that we use called the amygdala hijack. And what happens under high emotion, whether it's anger, fear, excitement, love, those types of things, it could be frustration. Under high emotion, that the amygdala, that tiny little reptilian gland, starts pumping out adrenaline and it actually cuts off our higher cortex and it puts us in that fight or flight mode and we, we just can't make rational decisions. By having a good solid grasp on our EQ, we never get into the amygdala hijack mode. You're probably thinking of some people in your life, whether they're at work or outside of work, that suffer from the amygdala hijack once in a while. So at least now you have a name for the, for the symptom when you see it.